hope you enjoyed the intro because there's not much to talk about here today. <laughs> yeah, but my name is Buddy Pulley. Join, of course, by my co-host Seth Dolby. And this is the rundown from Down Under post Nashville. Um, yeah, it was a uh, it was the most ho hum of ho hum races I would uh, for the Xfinity series. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, um, John Hunter Nemechek took the win. Um, boo, which, which is lame. Boo, boo, bushwhacking, and boo, John Hunter Nemechek. Um, how was running thirtieth all day in the Cup race the next day? Please inform me. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know, man. Nashville was uh, it was hot, as it always is in Nashville in the middle of June or July or whenever they decide to put this race. Um, so that was uh, a bit of a struggle for everybody in the field. Um, Seth, what did you, what did you think about this overall Infinity race? Uh, I thought it was okay. Yeah. And that's about all I have to say about it. Thoroughly whelmed. Thoroughly whelmed. Thoroughly whelmed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're, we were on, <clears throat> on here before we started trying to figure out what exactly there was to talk about. And yeah, there wasn't much. And we spent more time than anything else trying to figure out that one shot of Shane. There was on the TV. one. They showed Shane once on TV and he was passing someone. Of course he was because you know go he he does that yeah and uh we do not know who it was we cannot remember for the life of us who it was so you know what that'll be something fun for you guys to debate down in the comments figure out who the fuck shane was passing when they showed him on tv the one time they showed him on tv um but while you're doing that let's go through the top 10 from the nascar xfinity series race at nashville as we said before, it was John Hunter Nemechek taking the victory over his teammate Chandler Smith, who finished second. Jesse Love finished third, and his RCR teammate Austin Hill finished fourth. Obligatory fuck Austin Hill. Fuck Austin. No, Gregson fig- finished fifth. Riley Herbst finishes sixth. Justin Allgaier seventh. Cole Custer finishes... Oh, just kidding. AJ Allmendinger finished seventh. Justin Allgaier in eighth. Cole Custer ninth. Sam Mayer rounds out your top ten. And our Lord and Savior himself, Shane Van Gisbergen, comes away with his tenth top ten finish or top fifteen finish of the season. Um, Seth, Shane finished fifteenth, as I just said, tenth, fifteenth, or better finish of the season. Um, is this something just fell down behind you? Um, okay. Clearly, that hat <laughs> is jumping for joy in Shane's wonderful performance this year. It certainly is. Yes. What about you? Are you jumping for joy? Um, for like the whole season or for this race? As a collective. Yes. Okay. I think he's done pretty much exactly what I thought he would do this season. Okay. He would dominate on road courses and he would slowly but surely get better on ovals and you can tell the difference between the early part of the season yeah. and currently mm-hmm. now i think the best thing that came out of this race was aj allmendinger was really really good good and signs good yes, signs obviously shane's teammate so you know great uh great energy going forward hopefully for the colleague team it sounds like they were trying some different setups for the entire first half of the season and they all kind of sucked. Yeah. Um, except I guess at the road courses. Um, even then even then AJ had some issues at road courses. So clearly it was maybe clearly clearly skill issue. No <laughs> must be. <laughs> but um no. yeah. Uh so anyway, uh them being good, uh if any of them being good at at Nashville is a good sign, I think. So yeah. It sounds like they're moving in more in the direction of the uh what's worked in the past for them. So that's good. Um, Shane, I felt like had a better car than 15th um, today at some point too, or today, not today. Um, But, uh, but ended up solid, of course. Um, Very hot day. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the cooling is like in a, in a supercar. So I don't know how, how much of a departure this was for him as far as like the actual physical, um, 
physical aspect of the race because obviously we saw a lot of guys gas afterwards. Um, they did not show Shane. I would have loved to see Shane just get out of the car like a spring chicken and <laughs> after this deal. Um, but uh, yeah, um, I, w- I was wondering how he would he would fare with that. Um, didn't really get an update. He did say it was very hot <laughs> before the race in and uh, in his in his Instagram post after. Um, but yeah, good solid top 15 finish. Um, I think it's all we ain't much to really say about it. I mean, just a an average Shane day. He went out there and did the damn thing. I am really curious as if the um climate in Australia is really humid or not. Yeah, it you doesn't gotta, use guys, guys, use guys, use guys, use oh, guys. Shit. You guys gotta fill us in on that one. So, yeah. what the uh. Yeah. What Curious. the what the racing conditions are like? What's the what's the driver going through? What kind of heat are they are they dealing with down there? We don't know. We don't know. We're learning. Um, obviously, next week will be a big rundown from down under um, because it is obviously the one year anniversary of the entire world figuring out who the fuck Shane Van Gisbergen. Well, okay, the entire us figuring out who <laughs> Shane Van Gisbergen is, and yeah, our world figuring out who the fuck Shane Van Gisbergen is. Um, uh, yeah, do we um do are we predicting a sweep? All right, if I'm being completely honest, <clears throat> no. Yeah, I don't think so either. I think the entire Cup field will have poured through the SMT data. And Shane's uh, SMT data to be specific. Yes, Shane's SMT data and should be able to figure it out. Also, I mean, I think fucking Christopher Bell and Tyler Reddick kind of threw that race away anyway. Yeah, last year. Did, so yeah. I I don't think so. I mean, it could definitely happen. Yeah. I'm going to guess no, though. I'm going to guess no. There's uh there's definitely a balance there because um you know obviously everybody was very new to this Shane had a lot of conditions going for him but now Shane is more experienced with these cars so that could play into his hands so it'll be it'll be interesting it'll be at the very least it'll be a good measuring stick for where he's at um and where colleague is at in the Cup Series too um and where the rest of the field. It would be yeah. just be a good measuring stick weekend for the cup field, I think. I, I think the problem is, is like Shane hasn't really had a lot of relevant cup experience since this race because he had he was sick and he had some problem at Indianapolis. I don't remember what it was, but something was broken. Yeah, something was and broken. And then he had no first gear at Coda. And then obviously Talladega doesn't prepare you for this. And he only had, uh, you know, 45% of a Coca Cola 600. So, I don't really. He that's the only thing is he's of a Coca-Cola 600. 55. Oh, yeah, yeah. That math wouldn't even add up. Yeah. Um, but anyway. Um, I don't know. Yeah, this just this feels like a top 10 and maybe get a top five at the end kind of day. Yeah, that's kind I, of what it feels. like. I think it, I think a lot of it's going to depend on how much chaos there is at the yeah. end of the cup race. But like he um, definitely wins the like xfinity race okay good might be by like a lap honestly yeah i mean he's only 25 laps behind the entire xfinity field yeah um as far as laps in an xfinity car on on this track um yeah i i fully expect him to go out and have a wonderful saturday in chicago and uh yeah i don't know i'm excited i hope to get i hope to be front and center for a shane van gisbergen win this weekend um i have a feeling you might be uh yes uh and by the way if anybody from down under or just in general is going to be at chicago this weekend i will be there um so feel free to dm me at the buddy pulley on instagram and uh maybe and maybe we can we can find each other and we can talk about how great shane van gisbergen is and we can all do our best to catch a catch a uh a uh, rugby ball at the end of the damn thing. So um, let's get to our video of the week. Um, this one was from the last race at, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name, um, the, tra- the track in Auckland. <laughs> um, 
Puka Tui, Puka, Puka, Puka Shell Speedway. All right. <laughs> so it was an awesome Auckland, battle. Auckland where, buddy? You fucked this up before. So Auckland, Auckland New Zealand, you motherfucker. There you like, go. I know exactly where it is. <laughs> um, actually, no, I would not be able to pick it out on the map. But uh, I'd New be Zealand able to pick out New Zealand. Yeah. Okay. Be, yeah. <laughs> Auckland, no, not so much. Um, but uh, it was a great battle between him and Cam Waters. Um, I was I was interested because I was, or it was super interesting to me because I saw at least three or four different moves that was made on Waters in this race that I 100% see him mirror in uh, NASCAR since he's been over here. Yeah. No. Um, like I said, I think from the original Chicago video, Shane does a lot of things that Cup guys and yeah, cup guys just don't do like yeah. hang on on the uh, in a bad spot for way too long for no reason when you can easily cross them over, or do yeah. some other thing. Um, and, you know, a lot of other things. Uh, Max Verstappen could learn a few things. Uh, Cam Waters left some room on the outside for Shane. Um, uh, I didn't realize that was possible after watching the F1 race, but apparently it is. So uh, there you go, Max. There's your homework for this week. Right. Uh, if a car is to your outside, you don't keep coming into it. Uh, anyway, I, that was a tangent. Sorry. But yeah, no. Uh, I don't know. I Obviously, I like this clip because I used it as B-roll last week. So <laughs> <laughs> He did. Yeah. He did. Um, I was like, yeah. buddy, we used this already. He's like, we did. We definitely did not. I was like, well, I did. I used it. Yeah. Um, no, it, it was, um, it was just classic, man. It was a classic race. Um, I really, I enjoyed seeing the motion, the emotion out of Shane. Obviously it was home track last, uh, race at the, at the track before it got turned into development. So nice to know that's going on everywhere else in the world with racetracks. Um, but, uh, it, it was, Yay. yeah, fuck the fuck this shit. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, what a, uh, that was, um, that was cool. That was really cool to see the emotion out of Shane and just see, see the, just it's one of those deals where obviously he started eighth in the race, drove up front. Who knows? He might not have the fast car, but it's all, it's the one who refuses to lose. And he, he definitely had that dog in him that day as he does all the time, but it seemed like there was a little extra oomph for good reason there. Um, this video was submitted to us by Hain dash K U nine I I. Yeah, like I said, I wasn't gonna be able to like put together what that word is supposed to be, but I really we really appreciate the the submission of the video of the week because that was a really, really fun one to watch. Um if anyone else has a really cool Shane Van Gisbergen video or just supercars video in general, feel free to leave it in the comments of this video. We will add it to the playlist and it will get added to our video of the week segment for the rundown from down under. Um, Seth, we uh before we go, give me an exact finish or finishing position for Shane in both races in Chicago. Okay. Uh first and fourth. Okay. I'm gonna get I'm gonna go first. And I mean, I don't know. I'm feeling my dick's got a half chub. All right. First and first, baby. Sweep the damn weekend. Okay. Preparing, preparing, man. I'm gonna be flying that. Look out. Look out on the broadcast. Turn six, baby. I'm gonna be flying the flag. Be flying the flag. You guys watch out for it. I, I don't have it hung up this week. It's in my bag, ready to go to Chicago. We're, I'm gonna be flying our nation's flag right there in turn six in Chicago. If you're there, please. Please, please, please hit me up. I would love to meet some of you guys and drink some beer, some really expensive beer in Chicago and watch Shane Van Gisbergen lower his testicles all over the NASCAR field. Um, with that, any, any last words? Go no. Shane. I don't know. <laughs> go, go Shane. Great run at Nashville. Looking for better, for better days.